Hi guys, Shelly here. So, funny story. I'm not particularly lucky. Like, I don't normally win things myself, but my husband is ridiculously lucky. And he is the guy that will call in the radio station at 6.30 in the morning and win their, like, little, they play a lick of music and you get to guess what the song and, and artist is and then you win something. He, he does that. Like, he's that guy that just knows like music trivia, but he just, he's just in general a lucky individual. So he came home, this was yesterday. He went out, I think he was checking on the status of, I have a ring that has a missing stone and they ordered a replacement for me. And uh, he went to go check on the status of it. I had mentioned earlier, one of my favorite perfumes is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And I said, boy, it'd be really nice to find one of the holiday sets that has body butter in it. I have super dry skin. I like body butters versus body lotions. So apparently he remembered that because he's got a good memory for, for us being a little, a certain, of a certain age. We've still got our, still got our faculties and our memories. But anyway, he went to the mall again, checking on the status of my ring, but then also he stopped by Macy's to see if they had the holiday sets that included body butter. Apparently the gal wasn't really sure what body butter was, but she said, no, we don't have any, any sets. And then this other gal says, hey, what are you looking for? And, and she says, yeah, we're looking for these holiday sets. And he goes, oh, we have one. We have this one right here. So he ended up picking it up for me and it's super cute. So this is the, the good girl scent is really one of my top three favorite scents. I do like the Yves Saint Laurent uh, black opium is probably my number one. This is probably number two. I could do a whole video on my favorite scents if you guys want, but this is actually kind of cute because you know, the, it's got the um, shoe hoarder. I'm not even gonna pretend I'm a collector at this point. <laughs> it's a shoe hoarder. So, but it's got the cute little, and it's like a mini version of the normal regular size. And then it's got a little travel roller. And this is kind of cute. And she, they felt bad because he didn't have, they didn't have any body butters or body lotions in, in any of these scents. And Ulta was out of them because he looked there first apparently. So they said, oh, well, we feel bad. You know, we've got this box of gifts with purchase if you want to go through it and tell us what, you know, if you want any of these things. So he grabbed this Gucci bamboo body lotion for me and it smells fine. I can actually smell it, which is good. Then before he leaves, they say, hey, we're doing this basket, these beauty bundle basket giveaways. Go ahead and fill out your wife's information, drop it in the little thing and we'll draw your name, like on Monday. And this was a Saturday. Lo and behold, I get a phone call Saturday night. It was like eight o'clock at night. And I'm like, why, why am I getting this? This is a weird number. They called and said, hey, you won. You won this beauty bundle basket and it's a good one. And you're welcome to come over. We're here until 10 o'clock at night or you can come over and get it tomorrow. We'll have your name on it. And I said, well, can I send my husband over? Cause at the time I'm still kind of quarantining. And they said, yeah, yeah, sure. What's your husband's name? So I gave it to him and he's like, I want to see what you got. Well, I'm gonna go right now. This bad boy is loaded up. So this is my husband's good luck because guarantee I wouldn't have won it if, uh, <laughs> I had submitted myself for it, but because he did, I thought I would go through with you guys some of these fun goodies that we got from Macy's just by filling out our information. And I'm shocked. I'm shocked about some of the stuff in here. So I'm just going to go through them in no particular order and kind of hopefully be able to make them out, you know, tell you what it is that I got. But the first thing on here is this Clinique lipstick. And this looks like it's in shade pop matte coral pop 12. And it is a bright, but really pretty fun shade. I think it actually, for someone who doesn't normally wear bold lipsticks, I'm going to try that one. All right. This one, I, I can't tell what it is. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can see it with my glasses. Okay. I gotta be honest, you guys, I don't know which perfume this is. I feel like the top is familiar. Like I should know what that is. Like maybe I have it. it smells okay. It's got a lot of alcohol in it. Can you guys hear my son talking? He's talking to my husband because he's been out raking leaves with a ginormous tree in the front yard. Anyway, little travel size. Oh, I don't know that I'd travel with it. I think I might've got it some on my fingers. Not necessarily. I probably wouldn't travel with this, but it's a nice little size to try out a perfume. I just can't read the fine print of the box. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me what perfume this is because if I like it, maybe I'll buy the full size of it if I don't already have it. I do have a big perfume collection, so you guys are gonna have to tell me if you want me to do a video on what my collection looks like. Okay, this one says Signature on it, and I can't read what this is, and there's no other stickers on here, so I don't know what this is. But it's another perfume. It doesn't smell bad, from what I can smell. 
not everything in here is perfume. Travel size of the Lancome Genifique. I probably gotta, I'm gonna need to find a way to hold this so you guys can actually see these little bottles. I've gotten these before. They've come in like Lancome big kits, trial size kits and stuff. Here's another one. This is an Estee Lauder Resilience Multi Effect Tripeptides Eye Cream. Super cute. I like this size. You know what I like about this size? You can actually try it, maybe even get a couple weeks at it, decide if you actually even like it. And I don't get bored. I'm finding that when I try to actually pan skincare all the way through, by the end, I'm just like, oh, can we please just move on to something else? That's how I know I don't love it. Here's another one, Clinique. This is Clinique's Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. That's a nice travel size, actually. This might go in a little travel kit because I do like cleansing balms. Clinique is OG. I mean, their, their cleansing balm has been around for a long time. I'm not upset to get that at all. Here's another lipstick. It's by Color Design. I'm not super familiar with the brand, but it's called Hot Nude and, or Hot Nude. And it's beautiful. That looks to me like my perfect nude. Here's another Lancome item. This one says Juicy Tubes. Okay, this one says Marshmallow Electric Tro. I don't know that that's right. It's got to be a lip gloss, right? It's a clear, clear lip gloss. It smells good. Does it have a, oh yeah, it's got like a little slanted applicator. I like gloss. Although, feels a little sticky. It might get stuck to a face mask. Next thing on here, this is a full size, another full size item. Estee Lauder Resilience Multi-Effect Tripeptide. Oh, face and neck cream with an SPF 15 on it. That's big. It's a nice packaging too. It just feels, feels high end. I haven't used Estee Lauder stuff in a long time. I used to, used to a long time ago. All right, here's another, apparently I'm using more Estee Lauder stuff. This is Estee Lauder Resilience Multi-Effect Night Cream. Another little travel size, sample size, trial size, whatever you want to call it. Here's another small one. This is a Lancome Absolute Revitalizing Eye Cream. Revitalizing Eye Cream. No, so this, again, that's a good size for me to try out an eye cream to decide if I'm going to really enjoy it without committing to a full size one. And I'm not going to get bored when it's this small. It's also really good for travel. If we were traveling, I hope to. I hope I hope 2021 is the year of travel. Okay, here's a Polo Red uh, Ralph Lauren Aftershave Balm. Isn't red a f women's fragrance? I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to use this after you shave your legs and then it's like a body cream or this is really something that's supposed to go to my husband. I might have to make him decide that. I don't think he really uses aftershaves. Hey, husband, do you use aftershave balms? No. So he's either going to maybe try or I'll use it on my legs and I'll just kind of smell sort of masculine. Okay. Clarins. This is the creme rose lumiere raise radiance Ro rose radiance cream. I think this is a face cream. Oh, okay. It's sealed for my protection. So I'm not going to get into it right now because I don't need to open another face cream at this moment, but this is another full size. So a Clarins, you know, has good products. I've actually done face full, a whole regimen of Clarins and I got recently a, I think it was like a, priming type moisturizer, pre-makeup type primer moisturizer type thing. Recently in a hmm, FabFitFun maybe. La Vie Espelle, little body lotion. This is nice, a little hand cream size. This is actually a good size for not all of my purses, but a lot of my purses. This will actually fit in there. And I like this fragrance a lot. I had the full size version of it. I think my husband got it for me for Christmas last year, maybe. Yes. There, there you have it. He's folding clothes. I make him fold his own clothes. All right, the next thing is the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I like Clinique skincare. I don't have a problem with it. It does feel slightly young, like it's maybe for a little bit younger of a demographic. It's been a while since I've really kind of gone full on Clinique. I don't have a problem with their Moisture Surge line. I, I think I they were early on in the, the gel creams and at the time I was feeling like that wasn't enough moisture for me, but an overnight mask that's a moisturizer, I'm super excited for this. This is a good selection of skincare, huh? Yeah, Jimmy Choo Fever Body Lotion. This is not not as small as, say, this one is kind of like a hand cream. This feels like it's a little bit bigger size. I almost feel like this came out of like a holiday set or something, you know? I actually don't have this perfume. I'll try it as a body lotion. Lancome Cream Radiance Foam. Wait, Gentle Cleansing Cream Foam with Rose and Lotus Flower Extracts. Lancome stuff. I mean, this is great. Between the Lancome and the Estee Lauder and the high-end fragrance stuff, this is kind of cool. Calvin Klein Women. This is a shower gel. I was about due. 
I think, for shower gel. So this will be fun. I can take a break from some of the Bath and Body Works and, and try this kind. It's a very interesting fragrance. Tell me, you guys, what, what do you think of this Calvin Klein woman? Women? It's not woman. It's women. I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with it. It's been a long time since I've used any Calvin Klein fragrances. Gucci Bloom, though. This is good. This is actually a bar soap. Smells so clean and fresh, and it's Gucci. So does it go with, uh, oh no, that's a Gucci bamboo, but we'll be all Gucci'd out. It'll be, it'll be fun. Full size bottle of Alien. Is this Terry Mugler? I can't read it, but I think that's what it, I think that's what this is. Again, not one that I have. I think I've tried little samples of it, but I haven't actually used a full bottle of it. Boy, it smells good. I think this is gonna be okay. We'll have to see how it works on my on my chemistry. All right, this is the Clinique Pretty Easy Eyelining Pen in black. Okay, probably could get more familiar with liquid eyeliner. Okay, and the last kind of big full-size item in here is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. This is a beautiful package. Look at this tortoise shell. I think this is super pretty and it has a little brush and it's a good size pan. Boy, this is actually pretty good. This is about the same size as maybe the Charlotte Tilbury and it looks like it's a pretty good color. I'm going to put some of this on. I didn't do any contouring today. Brontouring. All right. Okay. For my skin tone, that's actually probably the right shade. Not super red, not super gray, cool toned, not super dark. Deep. All right. And then there's like a whole little package of little sample sizes, cute atomizer. So I can use the atomizer to fill up with one of the larger ones or one of my favorite ones, throw this in my purse or my carry on a little travel size. So you don't have to take your whole big bottle. This is actually really pretty. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, turn it off. I don't know what brand this is, but it's really cute. I mean, I like the blue kind of cobalt color. And then it has these little, almost looks like Swarovski crystals and a little diamondy snowflake sort of design on it. Super cute. Okay, and as far as samples go, uh, Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris. I actually have a bigger size of this. I don't I think I have a full size, but I have a bigger size of this and I really like it. Polo Ralph Lauren Ultra Blue. I gotta find out if these are Pour Home or Pour Femme perfumes. I'm not really sure. Chanel number no. five. Wow, it's been a long time since I've used Chanel number no. five. Chanel Chance. I have a bolt full size bottle of this. It's been a long time since I've used it though. I wonder if it's turned. And then I think these two Azaro are men's. There's Chrome and Wanted. I actually have bought the full size Wanted for my husband and my son in the past. I don't remember if he's ever tried Chrome or not, but he's gonna get them. No, he'll he'll have them in his goodies and things. So that was it. That was everything in my winnings of this drawing that my husband entered. I am super grateful that he did it. It's kind of like this surprise gift. And I said, surprise. oh my gosh, he's just a surprise. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to get this. I'm really excited to play with these things. It's kind of fun. It was an unexpected boon. I literally didn't pay for any of this. But I, I also didn't get in any kind of PR. So there's a lot of really fun things, a lot of things that I hadn't tried before. I'm super excited, you guys. If you guys have not ever, check out Macy's and, and, and enter to win these things because you just never know. You might get something really cool and fun. And anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. That's it for today's video. And until my next video, bye for now.